Okay, so I wanted to show you my monthly duties and how I organize everything um, for my household. I have two businesses I run and I'm sick right now, so <clears throat> excuse my voice. Anyways, so I have a to-do list that goes right in the front of this binder and it's got to-dos for each month. Things like um, dentals and what day I pay bills and what day I need to make schedules, what day the water delivery is, um, that sort of thing. I want on there. So I open up my binder and I've got this, um, this side here I can put any bills that need to be paid, um, usually medical bills when my insurance company chooses not to pay three cents of the bill after I've paid my copay and what a pain in the butt. So I like to procrastinate a little. Um, anyways, I make these custom um, binder dividers um, just so I can be motivated. It makes me happy. Um, so for the finances section, I start here and I have each month labeled. So on the seventh of the month, which is when our credit cards are all due, um, <clears throat> or rather when they reset, I guess I should say, I go in and write down how much money we have in our checking accounts, business accounts, savings account, our childcare costs for the rest of the month, um, how much to have our cleaner come twice a week month, um, and then how much our credit cards are and how much we're paying and um, I just check them I make a check mark when they're scheduled otherwise I forget and I check them multiple times a month to schedule them and sometimes I accidentally schedule twice it's I'm just a mess I need something to say I did this um, <clears throat> the next section is our child care section we have an au pair and um, so I have a calendar that I make with their schedule for the month um, and I also have a clothing inventory. It's like a once a year thing, but it is just saying how many we need of each item, um, how many they have and what size they're in. Um, this is just to make sure when we go school shopping in September or really August, um, that we have everything we need. Otherwise we tend to get, um, <clears throat> we'll have a kid that has like three pairs of underwear and won't say anything because I have boys, they don't care. Um, they will wear the same pair over and over again. So needless to say, I have to just check them. <laughs> uh, make sure we have a hat and winter boots and, you know, snowsuit and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I have one for each kid. I have information for the school PTA. That's usually stuff I'm doing because I also volunteer for the PTA like a sucker. I got sucked into that. Um... I have a section for current projects. So this is like any sort of like home renovation type project that I have going and I need to keep track of. Um, and then future projects are things that are in my head and I just need them on paper so I can let them sit for a while and brew instead of trying to tackle 14 projects at once. And then last, the last thing I have is a section of things to research. I have items that I, um, think about and want to take care of but haven't taken care of yet so I keep them in this section things like um, we could probably apply um, for changing our property status to agricultural um, but I haven't done that yet so um, it's in the list or it's on the list rather um, and then I have some coupons and um, little things here that I usually don't keep track of so I just pull that ever out every month and I have a binder for my farm I also have a binder for each business, so I have something to look at really quick and easy um, when I need to take care of tasks. So it works out pretty well. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you haven't seen them, these are so much fun. I've been making these for um, different binders. They're like double-sided scrapbook paper, and um, I just use them as dividers. It makes my soul happy that they're pretty. So yeah, hope that was helpful. Take care. Bye.